is a word I never knew until now. Somewhere is a place I long to be, but this is just a another hole in my head. Another Welcome back. It's been a while. Yeah. Um. Long enough for me to wear a hoodie and shorts now. Well, that's just because, you know, you're used to being a fat kid. And that's now you're true. Not. What are you moving cords for? Because it was bugging me. Why are you not moving cable? cords, all right? It, it bugs me how much it looks like candy. Like, cords aren't supposed to be red and blue. They're supposed to be black. Yeah. Well, the thought process was that we're having a roast battle. So if we put both of these up on stage, then visually from the soundboard, you can see which one's which. Yeah, but you never told me what channel was which one. I did, but you weren't uh, paying attention. There was, there was, it was spread out. No, no, but okay. But when we checked, and you saw that that whenever I was holding this cable, and it was on five, and then I went to the red cable and it was on six, then you could know. Oh, red's on six, blue's on five. I don't think I was back there. You were at the booth. I was at the stage. I think we took turns. Oh. It was definitely a back and forth. Oh, during the show, I was like, I don't know what's what. Yeah, that was fun though. That was good. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna. I like the color coded. It stands out. Yeah, it just still bums me out, or not bums, wakes me think candy. <laughs> um, Going back to you being a fat kid, you love candy. Oh man, I don't remember where we were the last time we filmed one of these, but I know that I think we were in the car. Yeah, we were in the car doing. I don't even know if we uploaded. If I'm being no, honest. I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's a real problem. Sorry, guys. It uh, the year kind of slows down around the holidays. Yeah, for us, we're... And it gets tricky. So well, last week we just had a roast battle, and then we have this week off, and then we have um, Christmas comedy night through Eureka Springs Brewery, in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Really, yeah. our first show back. I'm so ready to get on stage and say terrible things to Arkansas people. <laughs> Dude, Let's Arkansas, go. it's a new town for us in Arkansas because we've done uh, a weird, we've done Little Rock, we've done Jonesboro, we've done Fayetteville, we've done like. Then the trio of like Rogers and whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. cities that are all one, right? And then this will be our first time doing Eureka Springs, and then later next year, uh, in, the, in like the spring or something, we're doing Fort Smith, Arkansas, uh, which will be a first too. So I'm excited to see what Eureka Springs brings because I think Eureka Springs is like a a weird spot in Arkansas. There, it's a weird state. Say, uh, but I think Eureka Springs is like, a very artsy fartsy biker town. Yeah, you know it's how a like weird uh, mix. like the uh, best way to describe that is like Arkansas is best known for its use of the uh, rebel flag, you know, <laughs> and uh, and, and in Eureka Springs they use the rainbow flag. Nice, yeah, yeah. So yeah it's, but uh, it's also home of like some really big biker festivals. Well, bikers are gay. Are you familiar <laughs> with uh, the Crescent? <laughs> <laughs> The Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs? Yeah, the haunted thing. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. I stayed there, and I think they used the excuse of haunted to not update anything in that hotel. Yeah, it's just that you got to believe in ghosts for that to be fun. And then I don't, if you believe in ghosts, isn't that fucking scary? Like, you know, like, 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 <laughs> what's the sales pitch here? People like to be scared. That's There's a whole... Who multi- likes to be scared? There's a billion-dollar industry around haunted houses, scary yeah. movies. White women. Yeah, well, yeah. They got too much free time, dude. They got it too good. I mean, how many horror movies come out a year, and how many people go to haunted houses and stuff like that? Remember that one time we were on the road researching that place where we had to sign a contract where they won't let you out or whatever? Oh, yeah. And they were like, they, there was definitely some like legal gray areas going on with that guy. Yeah. yeah you're you're just, just torturing people. You're going to sign away your body. What? Don't worry no, about that's it. It's what, scary. That's, but th- then that's where I go who likes to be scared. Like, I understand a movie, kind of, um, but I, I don't, don't understand actually wanting to be tortured. They're like, oh. Oh, it's going to be spooky if this is kind of real. Like, no, it's, a, it's like that old Louie joke. It's like, wait, you want me to rip you on the off chance that you're into that shit? I'm not, no. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's Eureka Springs. Uh, I did stay at that hotel once when I was a kid. And I remember when we opened the bathroom door, you couldn't walk through the room because it hits the bed. And I was like, this place <laughs> sucks. Ghosts were smaller back then. <laughs> Um, so I'm excited. It's a new venue for us. Um, yeah. That's you know show stuff. But um, bro, can we talk about something for a minute? Mm. I wasted a lot of my day yesterday on it, so I feel like we should at least talk about it. I watched uh, that Graham, uh, Graham Hancock thing on Netflix. That's the guy that signed the Declaration of Independence. No, that's that's George Jefferson. 
<laughs> you you could Google his name. Talking you, about you'd Jefferson recognize Starship. Him. He's been on Rogan like a bunch of times. But uh, oh, it's a real person. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it's a, he's been on Rogan a bunch. Like he talks yeah. about like the Olmecs or whatever, like ancient civilizations and stuff. I don't usually watch the non-comedy ones. Bro, those are good ones. But uh, I will say the uh, it's like an eight or nine part docu series. Each episode's like forty five minutes or an hour or something like that. It was, I mean. It's well done, but it literally, like, I put this on Facebook, but it was, no, it's literally uh, Ancient Aliens meets David Attenborough. It's just shots of crazy wildlife and, like, volcanoes and stuff, and then he's just like, but this could mean that there were civilizations. <laughs> it's like, what's yeah, happening? I don't like that stuff. See, don't worry, like, it's actually, it makes a lot of sense. Like, the things that he's doing, I'm like, I get it. I get what you're saying, and that actually might be real. Like, there's a lot of, if what you're saying is true, this does add up more than some of the other stuff that they're saying okay yeah i don't but uh, there's nothing worse to me than a show that doesn't go anywhere like those like like ghost adventures yeah after twenty nine thousand seasons we still don't know if ghosts are real never been a ghost once right, i guys, also I think do, we proved it i do okay shut up dog my dog's I, I do not believe that the government would let a show be on A and E if they were out there proving wild stuff right, like, like aliens yeah, and A and E's over here. Like, no, no, we got to lock in on the supernatural. And the FBI's like, I don't know, man, they're doing weird. Sh- you yeah. know, don't worry. Yeah, just hey, kind of. You're off mic. Stop talking, dog. Kind of like, um, what was it? Leah Remini did like all the anti Scientology stuff. Right. And I'm like, wouldn't they like get her at some point? You know, if she was out there releasing too much. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, like. Uh, clearly, they've done something to Tom Cruise. Look at his crazy eyes now. Like he's doing something. That dude. It's he's married so to Katie Holmes. To me he's married live. to Katie Holmes. <laughs> 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 we live in a society that loves to get rid of people, but yet we have this guy who's just openly crazy. And we're like, we should go see all of his movies and just not talk about the weird stuff he does. God, that's another thing with like the Hollywood and the media and all that. Is it's like it's a it's a boys' club or whatever you want to call. It. I mean, no, no, there's girls in it, but you know what I mean. It's it's an old club, like Skull and Bones or whatever. These, they're all together. They know they got dirt on each other. That's why right. they're plugging each other in. We uh, you could tell by listening to Tom Cruise talk for five minutes unscripted that you're like, oh, that guy's a nut. And then they're like, you but look at the movies, and you're like, yeah, but he just did Top Gun again, and then. They're, <laughs> They're like, nobody's great. Do you see how great that was? We need another Top Gun because of war. I'm like, I don't, you guys really aren't getting this, are you? Yeah. Well, and then I, someone, and we've talked about this before, but it's just becoming more and more how, like, there's no big, there's no money to be made in movies that aren't Marvel or Star Wars or, and, yeah. I, and I can look at it, right? Hold on. Where's, I don't have my phone. Your right. phone's right in front of you. I was going to look at, like, what's in the theaters. <laughs> Mine's right. recording. What's in the theaters right now? I'm going to beat my dog if he keeps barking. Hey, Crixus, shut up up dude he's just randomly like i want to also be he's, he, he's literally laying on the couch just barking okay so in the theaters is black panther a sequel to a marvel movie when, when we uh, gonna get a white strange panther? world a disney animated movie Ooh, violent night it's a violent santa movie nice yeah heck yeah um <laughs> and then one i don't even know what the ooh. movie reviews black adam so there's at least two superhero movies oh. out right now and I guarantee those are the only ones How making are, money. Are both, I mean, maybe we cut this if I'm not allowed to say it, but like, how are there two superhero movies out and they both start with the word black? <laughs> <laughs> a little on the nose, isn't it, Marvel? What are we doing? Like, is One of them's uh, DC, which we found out you don't know the difference between Marvel and DC. It's all the same thing. It is not all the same thing. They're all the same. They're st- they all look alike to me. <laughs> Marvel, DC, they're all comics in my book, and I won't have them in my America. Um, they're stylistically very different. But I will like say that, that 95% of the dice, well, yeah, because DC always looks the same. They're all bad. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. You could if you were just put them, if you watched one. Well, if watch I watched them, maybe, but like that's already well, given so up like, a lot. With the Marvel movies, there's there's one guy that oversees them all. I don't know how DC does it, but DC's movies just seem all over the place to me. But like, uh, and a lot of the Marvel stuff has gotten to the point where it's it's pretty bad too. But well, it was like I remember, uh, I think it was Scholl said this, but you know he's talking about that. He was like a, you know, like the whole Star Wars thing. He's like, all that Mandalorian would have never gotten out into the you know ethos. No one would have been talking about it if it wasn't for Baby Yoda being a meme. Yeah, that's the only thing that made it. No one actually watched the show. I mean, some people I, did, I mean, but I, like I enjoyed the show. But, but I'm I, saying I the amount of people talking about it was far greater right, than the people actually right. watching it. Yeah, 
Yes and no. I, I yes, yes. That definitely boosted the because I remember they hid that did like there was no toys released or anything like that for a while because they were no. there was supposed to be this big surprise when they showed that character. Because uh, no. I did not know anything about that show. I just was like, ah, oh, Star Wars. I'll check it out. Um, it was actually a good show. Uh, I didn't love some of the stuff they've done recently, but for the most part, I've been really into that stuff. But yes, that's kind of like um, I'm trying to think here. Something else that like popped really big, kind of like uh, a lot of these comedians would be really, really funny, but they wouldn't be as huge without that one thing. Um, I'm trying to think of who. who it's that it's like well, no, you don't want to talk shit. Uh. No, I'm not trying to talk. No, 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 no. But like, like Ari Shafir's special, right, is going to be a good special. But if he didn't go on all these podcasts and promote it, would it, you know, if it didn't if it hit the zeitgeist with Rogan have, and all them, like, I maybe he got two, but did he get the other two million because of the whole Kanye bringing Jews up and it's called Jews? Yeah, yeah. yeah or, I mean, or like, I, hold on, that's not a great example. I'm trying to like uh, Jeff Dunham. Would Jeff Dunham be as big as he didn't do the Ahmed the Dead Terrorist? That that yeah. video went viral, and then he got really. Like, he was already doing well. But then that really like there's a, a you, for most things that are famous there's one thing that kind of so right. so I think that Man- Mandalorian would have still been big because Star Wars but I don't think it would have been as big right that's fair um, and also I love how I can tell that nobody actually watched the show because everybody calls it Baby Yoda you know what I mean yeah not the name yeah it's name, not Yoda name is Grogu. I feel. I think one and of the guys that I, made the show came out and said yeah. you're allowed to call him Baby Yoda officially or something like that, which is just. You probably. I mean, why couldn't? Why can't you? I mean, if they <laughs> say you stop calling him Baby Yoda, then a bunch of people are gonna go. I don't want to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. He's just. He's just not Yoda. That's just not. It's just. It would be like you know, there being a a baby alien from E. T. And you're like, oh, that's E. T. Like, but that's not the E. T. from the original movie. Yeah, but it looks like him. And it's like no, yeah. that's it's not the same. Well, that was the problem with Star Wars. You made an entire like race of beings, you know, being whatever the hell Yoda is. But you only showed me one for 30 years. Uh, well, that's not true. There was so they're one. all Yoda. There it's kind of like one. if you only saw Magic Johnson, and then all of a sudden there was a bunch of other black people, you'd be like, oh, there's a bunch of Magic Johnsons here. Oh, my gosh. First off, no, there was another Yoda in the movies. <laughs> you just don't watch them. Probably a better analogy to use, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> bunch of... Yeah. Um... <laughs> a bunch of Magic Johnsons. That's a good name. What do you think about... I don't know if you even knew this. Uh, so you know what Glass Onion is? No. Did you watch the movie Knives Out? No. Okay, so Knives Out was this really good mystery movie. It was like a um, Clue, kind of like Clue, but in a movie. Okay. Uh, it was good. Well, they made a so, Clue movie. Yeah, they make a lot of these. Okay. Adam Sandler's got one. Anyway, so then they made Glass Onion, which is a sequel to that Knives Out movie, but it was Netflix this time. Hmm. But they put it in theaters for, like I think, just a week. So that's I wonder if that's going to be the new thing. Because yeah. you could act like I went and saw it because we were just like looking for something to do last week on Thanksgiving weekend, and I liked we liked the first one. So like oh, let's go see it in the theaters, and like as you're sitting in the theater, the ball, and the big N comes across. <laughs> it's like uh, skip intro. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, I'm wondering <laughs> if that's the next thing where we're seeing streaming movies come out on in theaters for a short time or, or whatever. Well, it's like they keep talking about, like, the big argument for theaters now is that it's like the group experience of everyone gets to watch the story, everyone gets to feel things at the same time, right. it's fun, but then, like, yeah, there's that, but, man, I just feel like the majority of people are like, no, I don't like other people, I'm gonna go do my own thing. I would say where well, that's gonna ring true is comedy movies. Yes, other yeah. movies, I could give or take being with other people when I watch, like, a whatever but if it's like like Jackass, that is a lot more fun. Yeah, like they, or I can see or that. like the the one that they're talking about is Burt's the Machine movie. That's why he's putting in theaters because he wants people to go laugh. And, well, know. that's a little inside baseball, but that's kind of you know how comedy works in general. Is just yeah, you're less likely to start breaking things down and trying to understand it more if you're in a group of people. Right. You're just you know hanging out. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I, I like theaters. I've always liked theaters. My wife does not like theaters. Um, so, uh, but I, I get like the, I get both sides. Like I like, I like being in full control when you're watching a movie. Like ah, I'm going to go pee, pause. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured you sitting up at Hollywood theater or something like that. Pause. It was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> I got to pee. Dude, I used you guys to, need more popcorn? when I used to have all the unlimited <laughs> passes for movie theaters, I would, I would go in and they'd be like, pick your seat. And I would pick my seat. I'd ask him where the door was. Cause I'd always want to be towards the edge. If I needed to pee, I didn't want to walk across the entire theater. Yeah. And, um, 
I'll just pee my pants. I'm not oh, dude, last <laughs> week I had to do it. I walked across the entire, did- and I was in the front row. I walked across the entire. Did you say theater. last night? No, no, last week. Oh, what did you go see last week? Glass Onion. I just told you that. <sighs> you don't listen to me. What was that about? It's the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will tell you, uh, uh, Daniel Craig. Is like the main guy, the main star of it, uh, 007. Yeah, okay. I was getting ready to say, I was like, was that James Bond? Amazing. Uh, he makes the movie. Without him, it's not probably that great. It's good, but it's not good. With him, it's like, psh, he plays a Southern. I think he's British, right? Daniel Craig? Yeah. He plays a Southern dude in it. Nice. And he's, yeah, he's fantastic. Um, well, they just act like they can do that. Yeah, right. I just walk over there and start going, oh, it's a lot, isn't it, governor? Like, yeah, someone's <laughs> going to hit me. No, dude, they bring him in, they bring him in right? And uh, it's just in the second one. I don't remember a whole lot about the first one. But in this one, they bring him in, and, like, um, there's a lot of twists and turns. But basically, like, he gets brought in. He's, like, the world's best detective. And this rich guy has all his friends over for a murder mystery party, and it's, like, a really extravagant. He spent, like, millions of dollars to have somebody famous write it. And Daniel Craig goes, are we starting? He goes, yeah. And he goes, I already have it solved. And he solves everything before they even start. And the guy's like, I spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's really good. Um, yeah. I don't know. Black Adam sucked, dude. Uh, I haven't seen the new Black Panther. but I can't. I mean, I know some people said it was good. But like, also, it doesn't have the Black Panther. Like, it doesn't because the guy passed away. It's just like, eh. Yeah. Like, eh. Could you imagine going to see a Spider-Man movie and they're like, well, we know the Spider-Man's not in it, but somebody else is going to take the role, but we're not going to tell you who it is. You want to go see it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. That's what they did, I think. I still haven't seen it. So I don't know. As far yeah. as I know, somebody else becomes Black Panther in the movie. But we, I mean, that's weird. The movie's called Black Panther. You don't know who's Black Panther in the movie. Yeah. Ooh. It's just uh It's like uh, that how I met your mother thing where it's like we're gonna have a bar, we're gonna name it puzzles. Right? That's yeah. the puzzle. Yeah. I'm gonna be real honest. If I go see Black Panther and they reveal and it's not Wesley Snipes, then did <laughs> and we made we just wasted a movie. He did his time, all right? He didn't pay his taxes. Bring Blade back. They're bringing Blade back. Uh, yeah, but, but without Wesley not, Snipes. Yeah. Which is not fair. All right. He's old. Yeah, <laughs> but it's gonna be terrible without him. He made that. I'm good. excited. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see it. Uh, it's Mahershala Ali. That's who, some syllables. <laughs> <laughs> you threw a bunch of them together there. I don't know what it was. <laughs> hey, that's who's playing Blade, who I think is already in the. Um, I think he's already in the Marvel world, which is kind of odd. Hold on, I just want to point out, like, they, you know that they've made sequels to movies that no one knows they've made sequels to. Like straight to DVD stuff. Like, there's a Blade Four that like I know exists because I was given the Blade. Who's in that? I don't remember, but Let's yeah, there was up. a Blade Four. I don't remember what it was. I've never watched. We're gonna it. look it up. I have it, and I went nah. But like, hell, like a Christmas Story. You know, they just made the new one of those. Right. Though there was already a sequel. They made that back in like 2012. I didn't know they did that. And then apparently there's another one somewhere that I couldn't figure out. Apparently this is the fourth installment in the franchise. So that's fun. I can't find anything about it. Are you sure it's called Blade Four? I don't think it's called Blade Floor, but it's definitely Blade a fourth floor. Blade. Blade Floor. Hold on, Blade Four film collection. <laughs> Blade Floor. It's like heated floors, but painful. Uh, Blade House of Control. Yeah. Maybe. Hold on. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the thing you have? Yeah. Okay. I think. Blade House of. Oh, it's all blurry. I can't read it. How are they gonna do Blade like that? Make it all blurry. Blurry you, blade. What is that word? Blade House of. Hold on, go back. I didn't get to see uh, it. It wasn't. You right, scrolled right, right there. C H T H O N. Okay, that's Thon. four consonants in a row. One vowel and another consonant. Like, that's a word. It's right? not even. All right, so uh, Blade was played by Sticky Fingers. Nice. Nice. That's a good installment of the franchise. Who is Sticky Fingers? Really pulled that one together. This sounds like somebody Richard would have on his podcast. You know what would have turned that into like the, it would have been like the tremors of vampire movies is if they would have kept getting Patton Oswald, like if he was a Jamie Kennedy of that. I just kept pulling Patton Oswald and he was like, damn it. <laughs> oh man, he's got a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. Walmart.com gave it a 3.7. Why is that the ranking? Walmart.com, 3.7 out of 5. 
Three point seven. Listen, That's this if you get if you take away one thing from this podcast, go okay. watch Blade House of uh Who are the House people voting three and four <laughs> stars on that <laughs> splitting it? Who's taking their time to be on Walmart.com? Like, all right, listen. Look. I bought Blade Four. Uh, the one nobody knew about that star sticky fingers. It's and, actually uh, not horrible. It's not <laughs> bad. <laughs> No, you guys, come on. It's, it's come on. It's pretty good. You guys, you know the guys who read reviews at Walmart.com. You guys know that I oh leave good God. reviews. Man, everybody follows. <sighs> it's just sticky fingers. He left reviews. three reviews: Blade Four, Q Tips, and Silly Putty. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that order. The Silly Putty was first. He was like, "It's stuck in my ears." The Q Tips got Silly Putty out of my ears. I remember the show. <laughs> <laughs> 